Hello everybody, it's Tom here from Whoopi Gaming, and welcome to a Spout tutorial. Now in the past few weeks, me and Sam here have been flooded with comments, inboxes, etc. Uh, asking for a new updated Spout tutorial. So I'm here to present you with one, as quite a few things have changed. Now, what is the Spout plugin by itself? Well, it basically extends your bucket server, allowing for greater things. Uh, the Spout plugin, just by itself, can add inventory events for plugin developers to hook into and a few more basic things that plugins can be extended by. If you combine it with the more powerful Spellcraft client, you can add an amazing amount of features. The possibilities are literally endless. You can have uh, graphical user interfaces, you can have capes on your users, music, uh, new blocks, new items, everything. It's just an amazing, amazing design by the Spout team. So, I'm going to show you how to use and install it. So first you're going to want to download the Spout plugin. Uh, 963 is the plug... Uh, the development build 963 is for Minecraft 1.2.3. Uh, however, if you are going to be running this, you will need to go into your plugins uh, directory like I have. Go to Spout, go to the config, and you will need to turn Force Craft craft bucket build check false because if you try running it with uh, the craft bucket beta build like I have here it will spring up some errors saying oh, it's not compatible but it actually is because I have been testing it. So once you've downloaded that drag it into your plugins folder like I have and then you're going to want to download the spoutcraft client. Now you can either download a jar, an exe or an app. Uh, I only uh, suggest downloading the jar if you know how to run a bat file, uh, to run a jar file. Uh, the exe is so much easier, it actually gives you an exe which downloads updates etc. It's, it's a lot easier. So if I just go to here, go spout craft, load up my spout craft. So this is the uh, launcher you'll be presented with, obviously I've already entered my details, so I've got my character here which I can just do a one click login. Uh, one thing you should note is when you log in with your username, so if I do xtorrent and then my password, which it already has there, uh, Spout does not see your password, it won't know it. This gets uh, sent directly to the Minecraft database where your, your username will be authenticated. Your password is entirely safe, so don't worry. So I'll just log into this and I'll go over some more of the features in the plugins whilst that's loading because it does take quite a bit of time to load. So within the configuration we have force craft bucket build check which is obviously when it loads up it will check the craft bucket build. Uh, I set that to false just so I can make it work. You can force a single player client so when they connect, uh, connect to force them to use uh, spoutcraft that's set to false by default and the message saying this server requires spoutcraft and I'll see a link to it. Authenticate spoutcraft which is just authenticating the client you have, true. Authenticate ticks is 200. And down here we just have some stuff which is related to the client, such as allow weather cheat, allow void fog cheat. Basically what this will do is it will allow uh, the person using the client, which has a lot more graphical uh, options than the normal Minecraft client does, uh, it will allow them to turn these on or off. At the moment they're set to false so they won't be able to turn them off, and I'll show you how that works in a second. So if I just go and start my server up, Right, so everything's fine. Uh, first time you start up, it will say obviously spout loading version whatever you've got, enabling spout. If it says if it brings up a load of errors saying, "Oh, uh, you know, we have detected that your craft bucket build is not compatible with this version of spout," as I've said, go to your uh, your plugins folder and disable it in the config. So here I am. We have a uh, very very different menu to what we're normally used to. We have single player, which you can play single player as normal. Uh, multiplayer, I'll show you in a minute. You've got textures. Now natively Spoutcraft supports HD textures as well. You do not need to patch Spoutcraft to use something like Yeri Doku or I don't know 64 or 128 times which is fantastic. I think that's brilliant. So I can switch between default or Yeri Doku faithful. Uh, you have some options. You have about which just tells you everything you need to know about Spout etc. The team. And obviously you can quit the game. So I'm just going to log into my local host which is here. Right, so here we are, and I'm just going to show you some of the options. Right, so obviously you've got the achievement statistics, they're the same. Here are all the options that you can get with Spoutcraft. Uh, let me turn my sound down quickly. Obviously you've got the normal music, sound, field of view, sensitivity, invert mouse, uh, difficulty, obviously you can't change it on the server, languages and controls. Right, so chat, show chat mentions will highlight your name when you've been mentioned in the uh, in the chat of your server. So if I type X Torrent, you can see here, 
that X turret has been highlighted in red, which I think is very handy. Just so you know, if you're building something, you want to ignore the chat. And if someone's called your name, you can just you know uh, have it showed up in red, and it'll be a lot easier. Uh, show chat on damage. Uh, show chat. Close chat on damage. Uh, whenever you get hit, your chat will automatically close. So you can respond with your sword, etc. But a good thing is uh, your message will be saved. Uh, you can turn off show join. So, for example, if someone's spamming, uh, joining and leaving, turn that off. Uh, show chat color help, etc. Uh, here are all of your advanced graphical settings. You can either have it on favor performance, balanced gameplay, or favor appearance, or you can have it on manual. For example, I have mine on manual where I have everything turned up apart from uh, client line and fancy weather. Uh, you've got render distance and better grass. We have small performance settings, such as preloaded chunks, performance, max FPS, which I've got mine on, advanced OpenGL, sign distance, auto save and far view. We have some appearance stuff. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, we're not allowed to edit any of these settings because within the configuration, if I go here, what we're trying to edit here is, for example, weather. It's our allow weather cheat. Now, if we change this to true, it would open up that option, which um, will allow us to turn the weather off. So, for example, if it's raining, raining over here or snowing, etc., then it gets rather irritating when you're just trying to build a house or something. I don't know when you're trying to play. So, if we allow that in the config, it will give us the opportunity to turn those off. And then we have stuff like smooth lighting, GUI scale, which just does that. Me. There we go. Uh, brightness, smooth lighting, and terrain minimaps. And that's it, really. You can reset it to default. And there are all the extra options. Right, so due to time constraints, I can't show you anything else. But that is essentially Spoutcraft. All you will need to do is download the plugins, put them in your plugin folder down here, etc. And it will load up. For example, I've got Kyo Craft and Kyo Egypt installed, which is what we were doing a uh, plugin showcase of a few days ago. Um, it is extremely simple. A lot of people have been asking us, or how do we go about this, or I don't like Spout. Spout is a brilliant, brilliant server side mod, which I think everyone should try installing because I think it's just brilliant. But, uh, the options for the servers you've got, well, I've added loads here, so that's some fan servers, etc. Um, you've got loads of options that you can quick join etc. I know you can do that like normal Minecraft but it's so much more detailed on Spout. It's, Spout is just a, uh, I'm not a fanboy, I'm, I'm, I just support it a lot because it's a very very good advocate changing from a normal client to something like this. I think once everything has been properly finalized with Spout you'll be able to see its true potential and it is a fantastic piece of engineering. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Alright cheers.